what's up what's up what's up guys welcome for another video offset trucking okay as you guys know i'm still in training at schneider so right now i'm in week two okay week two of the training so today is my third day third day okay we started monday the second week started Monday and today is the third day, okay? So before I start guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe to the video, man. Subscribe to the channel, sorry. <laughs> subscribe to the channel for the YouTube, you know. So YouTube can, you know, help sharing my content and more people can see it and, you know, more people can learn from my journey, you know, all, all those stuff, okay? So yeah, today's my third day on week two okay so i'm gonna just do a little quick resume on what i did on what i did man so on on the first day of week one which was monday so we had to take our road test okay because like i told you guys the week and i'm not gonna tell you all these things but there's tests you gotta take okay there's tests there's like writing tests there's like a, there's a third question test, but I told you guys on the other videos about it. You guys can go check it out if you haven't seen those videos yet. But yeah, so we take our road test. Um, basically, you take it with your instructor, okay? The instructor that you had. So let's say um, the only time that you might switch instructor um, is like, let's say your instructor didn't come and then you can, you know, they can switch you to another one and also if you don't like your not if you, if you don't feel like your instructor is treating you good or if you feel like that you're not really learning from your instructor my advice to you guys and you have the right to do that ask for another instructor i mean there's there's a way to do it you know <clears throat> you can say hey i i don't feel like i'm really learning with this instructor you know i would like to to have another one and most most scenario they're gonna switch you they're gonna you know they're gonna give you another instructor to help you out so yeah i went out with my instructor like me i had i feel like i had the best instructor man like the guy really helped me out and the guy was patient with me and you know he teach me like everything that i'm supposed to know even though you know you never you never stop learning when it come with the trucking every day you're gonna learn something every day and we're gonna make mistake out there believe it or not even the one with even the one million milers even those people that make mistake okay but you know so yeah the guy teach me like a lot man like a lot a lot and then um the guy was cool so we went out we took the test you know and of course i pass you know i pass and yeah your instructor gonna take the test with you and you get out and you know if you pass gonna put you pass if you feel like you can't really handle the truck you can't really you know you can't really because the thing is they're trying to see if you ready like if you can handle the truck if you can't you know because you're driving that big old long ass thing so they gotta make sure you go with it okay so then i they're not gonna just take you in, you know, without training and put you, you know. Even when you're done with the two weeks, you gotta do one week over the road with your TE. The TE is the person that's gonna train you over the road, showing you the real world, you know. You know but yeah, so I take the test, I pass it, and you know, at this point, you do your logbook by yourself. I was struggling with it, guys, like, but now I got it, I understand it, which is really good, okay? So that was the first day. I don't know if I missed something. But basically that was the first day. And on the second on the second day, okay, we had to watch a couple videos. You know, you never stop watching videos when it come with um when it come with the this training, man. So we watched a lot of videos. Video was basically about safety, you know. They're showing you how some drivers, like some footage, you know, they telling you always be careful, you know. If you don't feel like you wanna drive, just call your 
call you a leader and let them know and they can like force you you know because you know guys schneider is all about safety 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 okay they they really really want you to be safe out there okay like and then integrity guys like don't just call and lie and say hey you don't feel like driving because you know they're gonna call you because you're gonna if you call and say the weather is bad you don't feel like driving whatsoever whatever yes they're gonna say okay do what you gotta do stop the truck or whatever but you know they're gonna check to see if you really telling the truth so make sure you guys don't lie about those things stuff like that but hey that's how that's 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 what i can tell you guys about it man Harder than that, people are really nice there. Like, I don't know about the other location, but the location that I'm at, people are really nice, man. They're really nice. They treat you good. <clears throat> you know, all those things, man. Like, all those things. And like I said, you guys are gonna watch videos on the second day. And, and then after the second day, on the second day still, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna drive you're gonna do a lot of driving and then that's when they're gonna teach you about the tandem slide they're gonna teach you how to slide your tandem 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 okay they're gonna teach you how to slide it and then they're gonna even teach you how to slide the fifth wheel okay but like they told us some driver never never slide the fifth wheel so it's not something you want to play with unless you really 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 have to you know slide your fifth wheel that's when you do it but most of the time especially if you're over the over the jet set people most of the time you're gonna be playing with the tandem tandem slide because every state most of the state have the you know have the mark you know some of them want it to be at most of them want it to be at 43 inch you have to put your tandem at the 43 inch mark you know and then they're gonna talk to you about scaling how to scale and all that and then me and my te we went to the truck stop to put gas fueling they're gonna teach you about that too you know to fuel it i thought you it's not just sliding your card the card that they give you oh i don't know if i told you guys that but they're gonna give you your card and i think that happened at the end of last week okay the end of the first week they're gonna give you a card you're gonna activate your card okay put your pin activate it i talked to you guys about that on the other video and then um yeah they're gonna teach you how to fuel put the fuel and one thing guys they always say like when you they're gonna teach you about like <clears throat> like they told told us a lot of drivers when they're fueling they put it at off duty they say that's uh, not that is not good that is a log violations and if you can get caught you be in big trouble man so always make sure you're fueling like when you're fueling put yourself out always leave yourself on duty and there's a they're gonna give you the option to to check you know they're gonna show you all those things guys it's really good <clears throat> i feel like it's not i feel like schneider is like a university um university right now to me with the trucking with my trucking carrier man because Hey, the school that I went to, man, it was like a cheap school. Not too cheap, but it was cheap school, but rent. And they don't really teach you much. They only teach you like the thing that you need to know to pass the test, that's it. But right now, I feel like I'm really, really, really learning, man. I'm learning a lot. So after they're going to teach you about the tension and then you're going to do a little driving. That second day, you're going to do a little driving and then... Your instructor gonna sign the paper, the the form that say you pass with your result and stuff, and then it's gonna give them to you, and then that will be the last that will be your last time driving, okay? That second day on second week, last time driving, okay? So now when you go to your third day, second week, you're gonna okay from the third day to from Wednesday to even on the day or third day, you know. But me, as my first first day was Monday to yeah, I think it's gonna be like that for everybody. But from Wednesday, which is your third day, to Friday, no driving. Okay, no driving. You're gonna spend those time 
in the classroom and then today which is the third day we have like two people coming to talk to us um one lady was um all she take care of was you know if you're having like a critical event a lot of critical event and if you get into an accident those kind of things she's the one that you're gonna be seeing so you you don't want to be seen you don't want to see her like like she told us she don't want to see our face unless we want to say hi so that's mean when you see her something bad happens so that's basically what it is so yeah she's gonna talk to you guys about all those things man um and then we're gonna watch a couple videos still there's like five i think five more videos to watch about safety like i told you guys there's always videos man there's five more videos to watch about safety and then they're gonna teach you about on third day they're gonna you're gonna do like the trip planning they're gonna teach you about the stuff and they're gonna give you um a lot of book man they're gonna talk to you about a lot of stuff man on the third day okay so yeah guys that's basically it and that's basically it for the third day okay so you gonna do what else you know, did I not mention and by this time you should be good with your oh they're gonna teach you how to do your load assignments you know the paper forms like your bill of land i think all those load assignment assignment man they're gonna teach you all those things on your third day second week okay so now right now i got like two more days left no actually i got more than that but i think i got two more days left for class and then i'm gonna go with my te on monday okay so yeah that's basically it man for the third day that's what we do and you're gonna do your logbook by your log book by yourself at this point you should be good with it nobody gonna really help you with it um yeah guys that's basically it man if i forgot something on the next video i'm gonna let you guys know what it was and you know and you know man when, when you come here before i go when you come here man like if you can try to make some friend, you know, some people to talk to, you know, to chill, it would be good, man, because you was here for two weeks without seeing your family and stuff, you kind of like a little bit stressed out with all those, you know, all those information that's giving to you, man. Trust me, man, when you come here, they're telling you about a lot of stuff, man, you're gonna freak out for a second, man, because being a truck driver, they say, you make money, they say, but it's not, there's a lot that come with it man but over time when you're getting used to it doing it you you know you're gonna get used to it eventually but now man it's a lot i'm taking in man. a lot a lot a lot of information but yeah guys um if you can make something make some friends man sometimes you know go out and eat like me that's what i did go out and eat with a couple guys like the four of us man we're chilling joking around like the class, everybody joking around, man. Have some fun, cause you know, you don't wanna be too serious at all the time, man. You don't wanna be too serious all the time. So, yeah, that's that's it, man. That's it. Um, all right, guys. See you for another video. Like I say, guys, like, subscribe, comment to my channel, man. There's a lot of more thing coming. All right, I'm out.